This is Mrs. Mabel McGuire, and today we're at the Whitlacoochee State Forest, but we're at the Holder Mine area. Okay, today I'm hiking the Holder Mine part of uh, the Whitlacoochee State Forest. It's a pretty dry section of the forest. Uh, maybe I'll run into the uh, Florida Trailblazer or uh, Sunshine State Bushwhacker on this hike. They've been hiking in this area a lot recently. So that'd be kind of cool to run into them. If uh, you're not familiar with them, um, Sunshine State Bushwhacker is actually part of uh, Campfire Steve, who's one of my subscribers. And also uh, Florida Trailblazer is another subscriber. It's got some really cool stuff, unique stuff that he finds out in the woods. I recommend uh, you check out their channels. Today I'm at the Holder Mine section of the Wislakuti State Forest. I haven't been here in a couple of years. So it'll be interesting to see if anything's changed much. One thing for sure though, if you stand around long enough in Florida, things start to grow on you. You can see this tree is just covered in some sort of moss. I think it's called old, old man's beard moss or something like that. And all kinds of moss and lichens growing on this tree. So you gotta keep moving. That's what happens when uh, you stay still too long. This area is probably the driest area of the forest because you tend to see more of what's called the sand pine with the small needles, which are more common in uh, sandy, drier areas than the longleaf pines which are more common in the forest. But there's a nice sand pine right there. You see all these random mountains of dirt all over here on the forest floor. They're all over the place. Those are from pocket, go pocket gophers. One of the most fearsome counts I had with wildlife was when uh, came across one that uh, was out of the uh, its tunnel so it was using the fighter flight mechanism that animals use and uh, it looked pretty fearsome. I got a video of it. Attack of the pocket gopher. It's pretty uh, interesting. Well, this is one twisted gnarly tree. It must be like a bonsai type tree. Oh, gnarly! Oh, all I need is a cool breeze and some pine needles under my feet. Just a nice moment of silence in the woods, which is always a good thing, what I call good medicine. This is dry, sandy part of the forest, and you do come across some rare plants. These plants here, I believe, are known as scrub rosemary. I've tried to crush them to get the aromatic smell. I don't really smell the rosemary, but I'm pretty sure that's what these plants are called. Scrub rosemary. And as always, make sure you sign in at the trailhead. In case something happens, people know who you are, what you're doing, where you're at. Safety first.